let's say how it's do you like guys... 9 30 and it's really cold outside like really really cold, cold. and it... the dog is crying he oh. needs to go out yeah what do you do what do you do you look at her she looks at you and no I one s- wants to get out of bed oh uh-huh. how do you how do you solve that how do you solve that in, 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 in our household it's do. uh how do you solve it Ooh. i want to hear we play rock scissors. <laughs> scissors. <laughs> Yo. Welcome back to your favorite podcast, The Perks and Bathing. And as always, I'm joined by my husband, Mark. And oh, we were going to be joined by Tyler, but maybe he's mad that we said the favorite. <laughs> Uh, had to Tyler had to (sighs) Merry Christmas you filthy animals and a happy new year so funny we didn't expect uh or I didn't expect Mark didn't know I was gonna say the favorite last week or two weeks ago but uh didn't know that one word was gonna make such a big hype around the office yeah I got absolutely hyped when I heard that (laughs) you two think this is the favorite podcast (laughs) No, it's been incredible. You guys no. know it's all in good fun. I just figured, uh, fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> You're, you guys have already made it. What are you talking about? You don't need to fake it anymore. Come on now. <laughs> What's up? Nothing Not much. Too much. What's up with you? Well, thank nothing. Just uh, glad to be back here with the perks. Yeah. It's going to be a fun conversation. It's holiday season. Yeah, yes. with our Christmas sweaters. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah, no problem. I donated <laughs> mine to Tyler for the show. It's really well, man. Yeah. It's just fine. I there, figured it was going to fit you perfect. It's oversized on me. So. We're, we're good. But yeah. yeah, Miranda said that I had to wear this one, so that's why. It looks great. Yeah. You she, both are screaming Christmas. Right? Yeah. yeah. We, we didn't realize for the annual Christmas party that we both had gnomes on our sweater. No. That was why. Cause, so that morning, oh. he put this one on. And Love it. Yeah. So he puts this one on. Comes to the office and everyone's, and I told him, oh, mine has llamas. Yeah. I, I haven't worn the Christmas sweater in like two years. I'm like, mine has llamas. And <laughs> you too. <laughs> and then we get to the office, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, did you and Mark plan to both wear gnomes? And I'm like, we I didn't wear gnomes. I look down, I'm like, oh my gosh, I do actually have gnomes on me. That is not a llama. Yeah, that yeah. is not a llama. Yeah, we thought you guys uh, kind of, I we actually thought that you picked out no. Mark's nope. sweater. Mark got picked my out own. his own. Yeah, man. But yeah, what wonderful and you guys! You you look festive, and the desk looks fantastic. Yeah, wow. thanks for the nice yeah. setup. Yeah, here. We, yeah. We, we looks Good. great. Good stuff. So we want to talk about some things that have been going on over the weekend, and also some ideas that we were thinking about um, talking together. But we have a couple updates first. If you want to start off with your tires. I got my tires swapped, my winter tires. What? Let's go. That's a big deal. Just for everyone who was worried about me, I got the winter tires put on. I know I had a couple people around the office reach out and ask if if I had done that, and I did. Are those, did you guys, like, there's there's these actual winter tires. Are you talking about the winter tires that have, like, the studs? Like, do you guys know about those ones? Like, they're, like, the the actual, like, um, studded tires that can only be worn, like, throughout the winter months? Or is it just, like, a nice winter tire? It's just a nice winter Yeah, that's, tire. I got to yeah. go get those. Because I definitely use you know them all the way through, like, no. May or June. Yeah, no, I got you. I got it. My, my tires are super bald. I'm just going to wait till Christmas to get. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice Christmas gift. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or, yeah. or not so much. I hate investing in it cars. I know. But that's okay. Know. They get us here. They told they me. They get us right here. Yeah. yeah. They told me two of mine for my all-weather tires is, I think, what they call them. Yeah. So when I get those put back on, I have to get two new ones, which kind of stinks. Yeah. Where do you go? Um, Highland Tire in Natron Heights. All right. And Shout they're out to so, Highland. Yeah. <laughs> and they're so sweet. They always give a carnation when... To, to, <laughs> really? Yeah. To well, women. Every time I've ever gone, they give a carnation when you check out to the women. So. Wow. Well, yeah. I was going to say I was going to show up there, but never mind. I mean, I'm sure... The women. I don't know what they I came here do, for but. the carnation. <laughs> yeah. Not the tires. Yeah. <laughs> but that unreasonable hospitality, man. That's what it's about. Uh, yeah. It's, hey, it's a nice little the touch. Ex- they probably read the book. Yeah. They that's probably That's probably did. where they came up with the idea. Yeah. Because that's not normal. Yeah. Especially for a tire shop? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe wow. it's their way to feel make yeah. women to feel more yeah, comfortable welcome. going come, in. Come on yeah. in. Yeah. 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 So. We're not going to take advantage of you. $600,000 later. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Here's a, here you go. Oh, yep. thank you. But that's yeah, that's exciting. Good just stuff. So give that update. Safe winter tires. Important. I'm ready to go. So, Mark, how are your winter tires? Are they in check? So far, so good. Yeah. yeah. 
had my inspection in June, I think, and everything's up to grade. Up so. to grade. Well, yeah. for the winter we're having, yeah. you know, <laughs> we got to be prepared. Yeah. yeah. We never know what we're going to get around here. Yeah, I know. It's either going to be sunny and 75 in December or absolutely I know. rainy, but never snow. Hardly any snow. Yeah. Lately. You feel like there's hardly any snow? Yeah, never. No, not like how it used to be. Are you, did you guys grow up around here? Yeah. Okay. So, like, way Way back in way the back day. in my day, <laughs> I remember there being like a, maybe I was just shorter, so the snow looked like it was maybe a lot more. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but there was there were some good snowstorms back in the day. Yeah. Nowadays, I don't know. Like we had thunder and Did lightning just, like a couple weeks just... ago. You know. We I know th- that was so weird. What in December? Yeah, yeah it was weird. so weird. Yeah. So weird. what's going on? Yeah. So. That's crazy. Well, congratulations yeah. on the new tires. That's thank huge. You. Thank you. Safety thank you. first. Safety yeah. first. We've got to make sure that you continue to show up for the favorite podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Got to get here in one piece. Yeah. We but. also uh, kickstarted off the marathon training. At least the ladies did with no a way. nice uh, Costco ride. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that's not. Yeah. I mean, we probably did get more steps in Costco than we did <laughs> yeah, that's in it. the park, but. Hey. Yeah, whatever, was, whatever way you get it in. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, last Friday, a handful of us went and got some steps on. It was yeah. speaking of nice weather. It was like 60 degrees last Friday. Beautiful. And uh, that's what I mean. We, we had the opportunity to put on our sneakers and get out and get some miles in. So you, that was nice. And you, you excited you know, for this journey? Oh, yeah. Are you excited for this journey? No, yeah. but I did mention that I, I said I might consider doing a half marathon this year considering we did the grand canyon last year i get well this year coming up yeah. last year to you know there's whatever okay. but i was i'm actually thinking about it because how cool was it for the build-up of like not to take us oh, back to the grand canyon the but like the yeah. journey yeah. to like the build-up and then the a feeling of the accomplishment like i i'm, I'm kind of craving that already it yeah. is very so, similar uh, very different yes. as far as like the what goes into the day yeah but very similar that feeling that you get when you're finished and especially uh, I, I can't i guess comment on any other um half marathon locations but i've yeah. done the pittsburgh one twice and it is just such really a feeling. oh i didn't know that yeah it is such a feeling so this is not your first one um She's first marathon I'm first gonna, marathon yeah. okay but not the first time running through the city no okay but it is the first time yeah okay. it is such a special feeling i mean everyone in the cities uh just like there really cool. and supporting and cheering and with signs and it is oh, that would be pretty great. um hard to explain unless hmm. you're there and going through it i'll consider so. it but i don't even know what shoes to wear I'm sure we could help you out. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I even want help, to be honest with you, because I Aww. might not even do it. You know? well, no, I'm just kidding. No, that, can, that is exciting, though. So you started it. training. Um, I mean, we went on a walk. but Heck yeah. Yeah, but we're going More there. More than I did. Went and uh, had a, a group Costco run, uh, which, like, yeah. Why not? 30s going to Costco on a Friday night Listen, <laughs> with, that, fri- with friends. That, so. you, you know how much fun you guys pro- – I know how much oh, fun you had. We had a blast. First thing, it's Costco. Yeah. You always have a good time at Costco. Yes. And then you go with friends. Yeah. Planned out friends to go. Yeah. Costco right It was a way. last minute decision, but uh, we went to the food court after. Oh, Got yeah. a hot dog. Dollar tur- fifty. Yeah. With a drink. Dollar fifty glizzy. Yep. <laughs> Can't go wrong with it. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, some churros. Yo, Everyone was really yeah. disappointed that I didn't put anything on my hot dog, but. Oh, you're one. No. Plain you, hot is dog? that is that normal for you? I mean. You okay. eat just plain glizzies. Why not? I mean, I would eat something. I would eat mustard on it. Okay. No ketchup? No ketchup. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, just but mustard. Okay. It just got me thinking of like friends in your 30s. Like what yes. What would you say is different about friends in your 20s versus your 30s? Oh. Like, do you feel like, well, I guess you're not 30 yet, so that's but, not the question for you. <laughs> Maybe we ask Mark. <laughs> yeah. Mark, what do you think? No, I mean. But I, as you've gotten older, like, I'm sure, I, I feel like relationships change. They and do. And Absolutely. I think, um, you know, obviously the time of your life, what you're going through, where you are in your career, like, yeah. all those things play into it. And it's yeah. been cool to see my relationships evolve. But at the same time, like, I, I figure, I was thinking about it, and I feel like it's more quality versus quantity you know what uh, i mean like at yeah. this point of your life like the the people that you're going to make time with are the people that are the most you're going to spend your life with yeah. yeah it's those people you know i i mean not in my 30s yet but just <laughs> to kind of go off of that like it i can i can project what the 30s are going to feel like and i'm hoping that it's more so exciting than it is like oh my like i literally when was it sunday night i had a friend with my or i had a conversation with my best friend from back 
um, in my childhood days. Yeah. And we still stay in contact every single week. Um, and uh, we, we're just, he's, he's 28 and I'm 27. And uh, he's like, dude, I'm, we're almost like 30. And it's just mm -hmm. like the significance behind that. And then it's funny that you're bringing this up too. So it doesn't surprise me because I was, I looked on social media this morning and it was looking at like the top five or 10, like social media accounts that you should, you should follow mm -hmm. recommendations. Mm -hmm. And one of this, one of these individuals, I forget the name, but it was like, what she does is she helps women in their thirties transition happily into their thirties. Yeah. So I didn't even really realize like, this is like a, a big moment in life, like 30, maybe it's just the, the um, transitions between twenties and thirties, thirties and forties might be the same thing. But yeah. like, I'm excited for my thirties because I already feel like I'm in my thirties because of the way that I live my life, mm -hmm. like, you know, I, I, th I feel like, you know, the way that we hold relationships, like you were saying, it's like, I'm looking for lifelong friendships and yeah. relationships to like, this is where you get excited about the planning of life. Like, cause mm -hmm. now you're starting to make a little bit of money right now. You're starting to like gain Talk, talking about kids coming talking into about the picture. kids, talking about homes, talking yep. about like, you know, all of the, all of the fun things that I think that God has blessed us with this life to, to enjoy. Right. Yep. And so, you know, Eli and I and angel and my wife were planning out like a trip um, together, like just these like moments yeah. of like, because you're starting to have a career, you're starting to get settled in, you're starting to think about a future. And then it's exciting to think about that future with those friends of yours that you're going to celebrate holidays with, yeah. you know, they're, and, they're and more birthdays. Like family. They yeah. are. Yeah. And it's, I think it's a fun time yeah. because it's like, you're starting to establish your, your career, yeah. your friends, your family, you know, there's a lot of just, uh, security, I think mm -hmm. in thirties in my eyes, like, yeah. You know, it's it's so it feels good because in in twenties I still feel like there's room for me to be in in a, in a weird way immature, like allow to be like. There's room for that in thirties too. Right? Yeah, there there always <laughs> is, but like there there's that transition of like you you start to get in the mindset like yeah. I'm getting older. Yeah. Right. Like so, and I think that that's there's I don't think there should be any fear into that, like or any no. angst because it's like thank God that I'm getting older. It's, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot that can come from, you know, because not, not a lot of people get to live till they're 30. Yeah. You know, so it's sometimes that's the blessing. It's yeah. like, thank goodness we have another year to, to yeah. reach. Yeah. But you're I, right. Relationships do, I can imagine, change. Yeah. Conversations change. Yeah. And I think I'm right in that middle ground of like entering those conversations with a lot of our friends. Because a lot of our friends are, are, are in their 30s, mm -hmm. you know, already have homes established and, you know, thinking about kids. And mm -hmm. I'm like, we're already living that lifestyle anyway. So, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm excited for my 30s, to be yeah. honest with you. Also, like, just the way you think about things in life. Like, I feel like when you're younger and in your 20s, everything's, like, in the moment. And, like, very short term. Yeah. This, now, how do I get there? Versus, you know, home ownership, children, things that are going to be affecting us 15, Taxes. 20, 25 years <laughs> down the line that need yeah. to start planning now. Yeah, dude. And decisions we make now, how that's going to impact us a couple of decades from now. I know mm -hmm. at least we talk about our future all the time, and what we want, how are we going to get there? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Or how do you even want to feel once you're there? Because it was like, right. that was another conversation that my friend and I had, like we were talking about, like, he's like, I hate running, but I need to run just to run because he's like, my dad, his dad is like 67. He's like, he can hardly walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like just being able to take care of you. Got, I mean, PT's right here. Right. So it's like yeah. taking care of your bodies, like yeah. being able to stretch and move and allow your, you guys seen all the spectrum of like from healthy joints to like the complete, you yeah. know, they can't even move, uh, you know, however the movements work, you know, mm -hmm. any degree yeah. um, whatsoever. So it's like, that's where I'm setting very intentional now with my life. And even with my wife, we're, we're looking into uh, it's, uh, starting a, new fitness club it's a uh, hot works and it's like an infrared sauna workout um That's between cool. 15 and 30 minute classes and you mm. get inside of an infrared sauna and it was talking about all the great benefits yeah. for longevity it's like i wasn't thinking about that you know even like two years ago right mm -hmm. but like i'm like okay i'm starting to get sore when i wake up in the morning like my body's a little stiff you know and i'm like yeah you know maybe <laughs> we should look into longevity yeah. rather than like power lifting and like you know all of this different style of life i felt like i used to live just yeah. a few years yeah. back you know yeah so, you know, and you've mentioned before about looking at different gyms and stuff like that. So yeah. it kind of led us down another avenue, not you specifically, but just to how do you resolve conflicts at home? Little Ooh. disputes, not like big financial yeah. <laughs> 50, $100,000 decisions, but like uh, taking out garbage or, oh, uh -huh. I thought I did it last. Like, how do you and Nicole settle those things at home? And then oh, you're putting me in the hot seat. OK, so <laughs> we'll, we'll tell you ours next. So. <laughs> OK, so how do we settle disputes? Well. You know, I don't, I, I allow I my wife. I feel like we're going to get this great answer from Tyler. <laughs> no, 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 so no. Here's, here's, the simplis <laughs> here's the simplistic side of it. It's because I don't want to be super complex, but 
I allow her the freedom of being emotional with me being her foundation. Okay. So like that is my role in my home because I would rather, I don't run away from conflict, but like most of the time, like my wife is a, she's an Italian and Greek and that means she's very just passionate about a lot of things. Yeah. Right. So it's like, I've, she's taught me how to be like steadfast in my emotions and make sure that I'm not reactive. So how do I solve that? You know, whether it's taking out the trash, big one is like, um, <laughs> the, the dish dishwasher, Right. Is that what it's called? Dishwasher? Yeah. Yeah, Okay. I always confuse those. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, regardless, I don't want to share that, (laughs) but like, it's like, I'm good at loading it. (laughs) Yeah. Loading it, unloading it. Right. How many days days will it go? If I don't touch it, how many days will those dishes stay in testing each other? Yeah. Like just take the plate. You know, no, what I mean. no, yeah. you got to put it away, bud. Come on now. No, putting it away. Yes. Yeah. So that's uh, that's a big one. And I love yeah. that conversation. But at the same time, it's like anytime I know there's a conflict, I allow myself to. And it, it's been hard, but it's it's a practice that I've been um, practicing still. Yeah. Right. In yeah. marriages, it tests you. But it's really about just allowing her to like, OK, I hear you. And then I proceed with I'll take care of it. Because if I were to add to it, I'm, I'm really, once again, it's, it, I try to stick with the idea of we're, we're on a team. Yeah. So most of the times that things that stress her out, like this is a funny one. I promise this will make sense. Yeah. She, so she has off for the next two weeks of work, yeah. right? And uh, for the rest of the year or whatever. And she, I want her to come in next week and we can all do a podcast together oh, yeah. and things like that, right? And she was, uh, she was telling me, she's like, I don't know if I can come in next week. I said, why? What's your schedule look like? She's like, it's so, so busy. I said, what are you doing? <laughs> and she's like, well, Monday, I've got to bake cookies. And that's it. So, and then Tuesday, she, she might has be to go. She baking for the neighborhood. You don't know. I, yeah, no, no. Listen, she's like, <laughs> bake cookies. Her, her agenda is bake cookies. And she has one 8 a.m. appointment. I'm like, what are you doing the rest of the day? She's like, I'm booked. <laughs> I'm like, you're not booked. You're, <laughs> she's like, I've got a stressful <laughs> week. I don't know if I can come in. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But you know, that's, if, if that answers your question, it's just, yeah. um, I try not to fuel that fire, especially when I know it's, it's regardless, I'm not going to win yeah. because she's st- stuck in the emotion, yeah. but sometimes I'm not perfect. So yeah. like, sometimes I enjoy a good, like scrap, right? It's, yeah. I don't know. I love getting the blood boiling. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, uh, I, I, I bite back. I'm like, well, you want me to do that? And so I bite back a little bit, you know, and it's all maybe, good. It, maybe it's all Tyler good. will was, benefit from, yeah, from what our method is. A very deep answer for what we're looking for. We're going no, more it's great. Life. It's great. It's <laughs> yeah. just ours isn't that deep. Yeah, okay. just ours is very, yes. um, like it's, let's say it's like guys? 930. And it's really cold outside. Like really, really cold. cold. And it, the dog is crying. He oh, needs to go out. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? You look at her. She looks at you. And no I one s- wants to get out of bed. Oh, uh-huh. how do you how do you solve that? How do you solve that? In, 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 in the our way household, that we it's do. Uh, how do you solve it? I want to hear. We play rock, paper, <laughs> scissors. <laughs> scissors. <laughs> Yo. Uh, hey. Settles settle all minor that, disputes. Best of three. Yeah, always That's, best of three. Never, yeah, never I'm, I'm a off. one and done. Oh, yeah. rock, paper, mm. scissors, shoot, and I'll I'll shoot, and then she won't know what to do. Right? <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot, boom, blows everything up. I've wins never, every time, I've Mark. Never done that. Wins never every time, Mark. Oh. <laughs> Think about it. Nine thirty next morning, you guys it, wake up at nine thirty, and you're like, "It's cold." <laughs> it's so funny too, because Mark thinks I have like strategy to the to the actual thing I throw, and I don't. Like, scissors. I, I would she know loves if I scissors. no, just, I I don't. Like, I just literally whatever yeah. comes to mind, I I throw it. And it's scissors every time. <laughs> Not every time, I, I don't but know. yeah. But um, he's like, "Oh, you always throw scissors you on too. the second one." I'm like. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, the, I do not. Then it's like, and then you guys have another rock, paper, scissors about that dispute on what you're throwing <laughs> yeah. every time. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't. Prove it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys go, that's interesting. Yeah, it is I mean, that's Hey, whatever works, you know, minor disputes. It's, yeah, It that, solves the dispute pretty quick because, yeah. I mean, I think we're both at the point where accept like. defeat. Yeah, you, you just accept it and yeah. you go and do the task. Beautiful way to live in a relationship is just acceptance. Yeah. It's just total acceptance. And one thing that I've learned to do also that's a real, you know, especially with women, most women anyway, which is my wife in particular, is she always, she never knows where to go when we, she was always hungry, right? But she never knows. And so I give her a list of everything. And then it's, it's she's like, oh, I don't know. Like, what do you want? Right? And I'm like, okay, we can go here or here. Like, ah, ah, neither. Or she's like, I can't choose. So what I do is I throw them around, toss them, put them behind my back, and I have her pick. 
Okay. And then I'm down whatever one I put in the hand is where we go. But it's a mental thing. Like yeah. you could really just. Yeah, I can manipulate. You can manipulate. <laughs> it could, it could, it could okay. have been it could have been Chick Fil A <laughs> but you or really Olive Garden, and then she picked Olive Garden. But then I pulled out Burger King. Yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, oh, we're going to Burger King. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's like, I didn't know that was part of the draw. Well, <laughs> you know, that was the draw. That was on the list. <laughs> you know, so. That's but great. we do do that a lot. We actually use that that method just to kind of pick and choose when we can't make a decision yeah. based upon where we want to go. Like last night was either Chinese or. Um, it was Chinese or it was, um, what was it? Eaton, Eaton Park. Oh, they just upgraded so, the Eaton Park by, did you go, where did you go? Oh, we went to Yafei Chinese. Oh, okay. Yeah. for our, It was your sixth anniversary, right? Yeah. Well, wow. our sixth year together. So like oh, she, nice. she celebrates every time that she can. My, my, my wife is a partier. <laughs> so reflecting, we've been together for six total years, Yeah. you know, and one of the greatest things about those six years is like, this is my first relationship that we've been together for six complete years, meaning we've never questioned or broken up, Aww. right? Like it's never been a moment and that's kind of what we, you know, it's it's our six years of dating, you yeah. know, technically. It's special. Um, it is, but it, it is special. And that's why I don't, I'm not looking over that just because we're married now. Yeah. Like those are little things that matter. So it's just going out of my way to pick up dinner from wherever she wanted it to be at. My wife's super simple. You just heard it, it was Eaton Park or, yeah. you know, Chinese. But like still it's like, and then we made, she made these, Um, I don't know if she posted on her she story did, last night. And I want to know the review. Oh, they were great. They were like. So you have to tell. Cause yeah, oh yeah. Not so <laughs> they were um, deep fried Oreos in the air fryer yeah. with a uh, croissant. They, they looked that amazing. Sounds good. So good. Yeah, they were, they were really good. And uh, but what's really nice about them is when when you uh, have them, what's nice is like between the dough and the Oreo, there's a great like line in between. And so like I think you guys should try them. Okay, you should definitely Wait, so try them. So she made them from scratch, or she got them in a box. Pillsbury put- Doughboy. But she like, but she crescent, made them, and then she put the Oreo in the middle. Okay, and then she put them in the uh, air fryer for like a couple minutes, okay. and like. Yeah. You know, sometimes are you guys like sweet people? Do you guys like sweets? Like, like sweets? A, something a small. Yeah. Okay, something. Yeah. This would be perfect yeah. then. Don't do the double stuffed. Okay. Single stuffed. Okay. Did she have both options for you? No, I told oh. her I wanted double stuffed. I'm oh. a sweet guy, so it's okay. like I love sweets. I said, you know what, make this even better. Yeah. Double stuffed. We yeah. didn't have any, but it was really good. The, yeah. the texture, the flavor, everything. So we had that as well to just celebrate us and uh, to reflect on the past six years. Yeah. Um, just being intentional in that moment with her, and it's just like. You know, what What a beautiful blessing when you find your uh, life partner. Yeah. You know, it, it is, is fun. Yeah, we still remember our dating anniversary. Yep. What? Yep. When was that? The Sunday after Thanksgiving. Yep. Was and it? It's always, yeah. <laughs> it's always a different day, obviously. Oh, yeah, but, that's true. But it, it's all, yes. we always just, like, know it as the Sunday, Sunday after. after. It doesn't matter what the date is of hey. the year that it yep. started. Just always How many years Sunday. this past uh, Thanksgiving Sunday? It was 2017, so... Six years? Yeah, six years. Mm-hmm. Six? Yep. Yeah. When it, so when did you guys officially, or is that further? When did you guys officially meet? Did you guys officially? No, we met way back. Way back? Yeah, okay. we met the, gotcha. the year summer before. prior, so summer I, of 16. I moved down to Pittsburgh um, on a whim, uh, on a bank account and no job, um, to, to be with Nicole. Aww. And um, I, I met her in Where October. were you living at the time? Uh, back in like it's it's state college area. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and uh, I moved back. I moved to Pittsburgh on a whim, thinking like oh, I'll just figure it out, right? Yeah. I was. I don't recommend that tactic, but it worked out yeah. at, at, in the end. But we started dating in 2017 of uh, December, um, so we're close to you guys. Yeah. yeah, six years. And how long have you guys been married for? Since one twenty one twenty one. Yeah. Whoa, good date. Yeah. yeah. Was that intentional? Yeah, yeah. Of course it is. Of course it was. <laughs> yeah. Every wedding date is intentional, yeah. right? One twenty one twenty one. I won't forget, forget that. that. And then my best Winter. My best friend from PT school, one of them got married one twenty two twenty two. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. That good numbers. Yeah. yeah. Good numbers. Yeah. Well, That's good your for number. you guys. You love twenty two. Dude, twenty two is my, my number. number. Oh. Tw- yeah, twenty two is my twenty two. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. My wife is twenty two as well. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that. Hmm. So like Maybe two years ago. I was like, no way. You were number 22 as well? Yeah. Huh. Crazy. 22 is a great number. Yeah. Represent. I, 22. I like, yeah. I don't have like a a number. You don't have a number? You look like a four. Your number's yeah. a four. I feel like, like an eight in, or a ten, like for soccer. I can see I, wearing no, a ten. I feel like ten. Was, <laughs> not 
not to be, but I think I was number one. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I, I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm my gosh. I'm pretty sure I picked number one. <clears throat> I figured. Yeah. I could have. You know, that that makes sense. You are number does one. Does it? <laughs> yeah, because Mark's number two. We, we established that at the Christmas party, right? The runner up or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, poor Mark. Yeah. No, you're always my number two, bud. Thanks, man. Always <laughs> my number two. That. Yeah. As long as I'm somebody's number. You know? yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're in the yeah. top five. Yeah. yeah. Easily. Speaking, coming off the Christmas party, too. Yeah. What a great time. That was awesome. It you was tore it up. The, you tore up the dance floor as long as so did Paige as well. Yeah. You, you guys were, were the there life the of the party. Time. So yeah. were you. I mean, you were out there. 70% of the time. Yeah, 70%. You're yeah. out there 100%. Patrick Ford was 100%. Out there 110%. I, so the last song... He took not, his meal out there with him, I think. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> going to lie. The last song was a little bit of a letdown for me. And yeah. I remember looking at Patrick and I was like, I don't know the song. And he's like, yeah, but we've been out here the whole time. So like, we got to keep going now. And I'm like... <laughs> she hasn't let this go since the Christmas yeah. party. And I was, the music. <laughs> and I was, this is the story. No, I, I mean, the music was great. Just the last song, I was kind of like, this is what you chose? Come on. Should've I just, I didn't banger. know it. Yeah. I didn't know it. Um, There's a lot of songs I didn't know. Yeah, there, there were quite a few I didn't know. Yeah. But um, I was for them the whole yeah. time, other than the last one. And then he wanted to keep going make the you know the <laughs> dancing 100% of his night and i dipped out like 20 seconds early i was like Ooh. i think i'm done so, uh, that's not yeah, going to happen like, during the marathon 20 seconds early is it you're uh, going to finish nope. that sucker nope yeah i was yeah. reading something though with the marathon and i i thought it was a good perspective it was like um a person who runs in general, maybe not a marathon, but like you've never not recovered from a workout. You know what I mean? Like you've always recovered. So just like keep going and yeah. like you're going to make it. So I'm yeah. like, huh, that's true. True. I'll recover maybe a week from now, but for sure. <laughs> I'll recover from yeah, the eventually. eventually you know? Yeah, eventually. Yeah. I mean, we did the Grand Canyon, so we'll be all right. Yeah. You'll be all right. Not where <laughs> you'll be <Yeah>. all right. <laughs> <sighs> Got to make sure that's clear. Yeah. Go going back to the Christmas theme, though. Yeah. We wanted to see what your thoughts were on giving around the holidays as far as like mm. family goes. Uh, what is the mm. the tradition in your family? Like, do you guys give to everyone? Do you mm. guys give just to the kids? Mm. Um, like who who are you shopping for this Christmas? Well, uh, so we or shop who for is, wait, let me correct. Yeah. Who is Nicole shopping for yeah, this there Christmas? We <laughs> Literally, we just finished it up today. So I was like, okay, what's the grand total? Yeah. Uh, ouch. <laughs> um, so, uh, thank you, the payment group, for the bonus this year <laughs> because right. that's going to come in handy. Um, no, she's, you know, she has a massive family. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's a tradition or like just like, you know, I think it's just who you are. Like some families you know, um, set more the intentionality of just being with each other. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, we, we do shop for everyone that we possibly can, um, and, and to give what we can. And it's, and it's trying to be more meaningful than yeah. quality over quantity. Yeah. Right. And it's like, I, I mean, think that's the theme of 30. It, yeah, it is. It is friends, gifts, yeah. life, mm -hmm. intentionality, yeah. working out quality over everything. It's yes. even eight form Form yeah. matters mm -hmm. in working out yep. in your thirties, because if not, you have a shoulder injury for yep. multiple weeks or yep. a wrist injury like myself. For sure. So, but yeah, you know, I, I, the tradition, you know, we do have a, a fun tradition that we started after Nicole's father passed away two years ago. Um, we started getting to get, we realized that we're all getting a little bit older, her cousins mm -hmm. and, and the family. And uh, so she has about like, we have a total of like 18 cousins come together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we do like uh, cousins giving, cousins Christmas, cousin Easter. Nice. Like, yeah. And so we'll do a, what is it called? It's like a, not a secret Santa, but like it's a like white a elephant? white elephant. Yeah. Yes. So we, we've been doing that quite recently for the past two years. And this is going to be our third year. So, you know, there, there's been those traditions. That's been a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, and, and at the end of the day, you know, and it, part of your thirties, probably I would say, um, is about just like setting the, setting the attention to be with family and just being present with them and just For trying sure. to collect the memories. For sure. Um, not, not to go like heartfelt, but that's really what it's, it is truly about. Mm -hmm. Like it's, I'm not even, ex I'm kind of bummed that I'm not even excited about the gifts this year yeah. for myself. Like I'm just excited to give the gifts this year, yeah. but that's also like what a beautiful blessing that is to be able to, you know, I don't take that for granted. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Cause I, we weren't always the people that could pay, get gifts for anybody. Right. Right. So it's like, or we'd have to sell, there's times that my father had to sell like literally equipment from our home to, yeah. you know, afford a Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, I don't take that lightly and I don't, I also 
gifts is a little bit of a strange thing mm -hmm. um, because it's like, I don't want to out gift someone. Mm -hmm. You know, that fear of yeah. like, yeah. oh, well, what are you spending? Like, I've got to know what you're spending because I yeah. don't want to outspend and then you feel bad, right. you know, kind of person. Yeah. So it, it's pretty it's organized. So, it's so stressful. It's so stressful. That's why I let my that, wife take care of it. Yeah, I'm like, right? honey, what, here's, here's, what, here's our, this is what we can spend. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, what I, about you guys? Like, I, I, having people in the family, it's hard to buy for. Oh, like, for man. example, like typically speaking, like if there's something that like a shirt, I'm like, I'm just going to go buy it and get it. Yeah. But I will say something with her mother and my mom too. You'll mention something one time. Yeah. One oh, time in like July, you'll yeah. throw something out there. Yes. That will be there under the tree, Christmas yeah. Day or Christmas Eve. Santa works that way. Yeah. Santa works that way. He yep. knows yeah. when you yep. are sleeping. Yep. Yeah. But that's something I've actually started to implement, if you guys haven't yet, is like I'll hear my dad say things throughout the like year, and then I have a Christmas list already. So like mm -hmm. every time that they say something, I'm very intentional about going into my Apple phone, into the notes section, yeah. and writing that down, or same thing with my wife. Yeah. Um, so it's just really helpful. So by the time, because I we just ordered our last gift like today. So mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of procrastinating, kind of not, depending on. Oh, you're you're on track. You're okay. good. You're we're, good. We're all right. No, you're I'm good. not. I, my wife is. Yeah, you I, guys I, are good. I haven't ordered one thing. Yeah. Our house is nothing but boxes right now. Yeah. But you know, that that's probably our tradition. I mean, what yeah. about you guys? I mean. It's a, it's a busy time of year. You guys uh, have any traditions in the in the Christmas time of gift giving or, um, we, you know, just like tr traditions in general with the two families that come together? Yeah. Um, so my family typically does um, f like we'll, we'll exchange internally like with my mom and, and dad and my yeah. sister, like something small and meaningful. Like, of course. you know, yeah. obviously Quality. my parents still uh, give to us. But it, yes. I think this year Same. we're going to go more on the route of like spending time um yes. so i hope my mom's not listening but um <laughs> yeah. i i think like spending the time to, quality um go to dinner with them you know what i yes. mean i think that's what we plan for my parents and beautiful um you know it, it's not anything huge but it's a Meaningful. moment that we get to spend together and um you know life gets busy and you know with the triplets and everything like yeah. they're back and forth and everywhere and um i think just to set that time aside to be able to spend with them like that's the so most important. So I think that's the route we're going to go with um, my parents. As far as like our distant family, like we have the same thing as far as like cousins. Yeah. And, family. Yeah. Um, it, it's hard to Huge. buy for everyone. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's about the kids. You know what I mean? So like that's that is the focus. Like obviously yeah. the, the kids still get um, all the things. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, we do the white elephant for the adults. And, that's it. Um, you know, that, that seems to work really well. And for it's sure. fun for, it is for fun, adults isn't it? to get involved it and uh, well, still have something to What was uh, more of an event for you growing up when you were little? Was it Christmas Eve for you or Ooh. was it Christmas Day? Because for me, my house, like, I just remember being little, it was Christmas Eve. That was the big, like, yeah, you open yeah. the all your gifts on Christmas Day. I feel like the lead up to Christmas Eve and going to Mass and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that for me was like, what a memory. Thanks for allowing me to sh bring yeah. up that memory. I, yeah. You know, I think it's, you know, looking back, it was Christmas Eve was probably the most special mm -hmm. because, you know, there's always once it's there, it's going it's going to be gone. But the anticipation of Christmas, mm -hmm. um, you know, my dad would always allow us to open up one gift. You that's, know, we did that too. Yeah, that's special. Yeah. You know, that's always. I mean, the anticipate. You see a couple gifts under before under church. The tree. That's what my mom would be like. You can pick one one gift. gift. Yep. Yeah, and what a moment that is. I'm gonna pass that down to our future kids and yeah. uh, have that. And you know, it was also one cool thing that my my family didn't do, but my wife's family did that. I thought was really cool. Um, her dad, for uh, until his very last year. Um, would always buy the family matching um, uh, like pajamas? holiday pajamas. And so now I have, this is my like sixth set. That's great. Yeah, which is, I love Do you that. wear them throughout the year? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, Abs absolutely. Because yeah. I, if I don't, like I feel like it's a waste of money personally. Yeah. And I, mm -hmm. my wife is the only, I'm not wearing them, you know, anywhere else. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, so outside of that, but that's a really cool tradition that, you know, um, they always did and then, once we open up the gift, then we would uh, go to church, go to mass, and yep. you know enjoy the the singing and the just community. And then yeah. I'd be peeping out. I, I would always wake up super early, like as a kid. Did you guys? Were you guys like oh, those types of kids yeah. that just yeah. like? Yeah, we. How disciplined up. were your parents with you guys? Like, would you would you be like 
Would your parents be mad at you if you like got out? Like, what was the time frame? Do you remember? My dad said not before three a.m. Oh, I wasn't oh. that early. Oh, yeah, not that. Early. Okay, I like then my you guys, sleep. you guys don't have the enthusiasm. <laughs> no, for Christmas. I, I think I was more of like a five six. Mm, I don't know seven. What? I don't. I wake up at seven now, and I'm in my, <laughs> and I'm still I pumped. Don't know. I think it was. Oh, mine was like. I think later. my earliest was like three one year. Did they wake up with you? Yeah, my dad did. Yeah. Wow. But but then. And they let you open your gifts. Yeah, we wow. we were over by five o'clock in the morning, and then yeah. we'd watch the twenty four hour Christmas show of like uh, Ralphie. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. do you got you got are you guys into like Christmas shows like, like do you guys watch like Christmas shows? Is that some is that a tradition you guys do? Yeah, we. I mean, I, I don't know if they're Mark's favorite, but yeah. I, I like to put uh, like Frosty on. Okay, or, cool. Are you, you a know, Hallmark person? I yes, do like the Hallmark oh, no. movies. Yeah. yeah, but I know they're Come corny. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're corny and they're I can, so I can write the script but, myself. Yeah. I know, but, but they're still so good. Yeah, they are because there's always a happy ending. Yeah. They make you feel Hallmarky. Warm and fuzzy. And, yeah, and cheer, <laughs> cheery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, yeah, that's good stuff. I have always liked that moment. So I think it's Christmas Eve. Yeah. yeah. I what think you said all of yours that. was Christmas, Christmas Eve, Eve for sure. Yeah, dude. That was like the build up, getting to open like one gift. Oh, that was yeah. like the little appetizer before. Yep. What's your favorite gift that you got to open up that you can remember that you got Ooh. to like that one that you're like, oh, this was a moment that I I'm excited for. I can share mine while you guys think. Um, you got one. When, when I was really little, like yeah. really little, I remember opening like the plastic uh, like basketball hoop that was like adjustable oh yeah and i still have an older brother but when we were younger yeah. and he was eight he's eight years older so okay i was the one like throwing the alley-oops to him and like i remember that being like a hit awesome yeah that's awesome and I, for you i um can't remember like a specific gift but i feel like my mom always put some like jewel it was always something small that we opened it wasn't like the the big yeah gift the biggest the one and right. usually it was um, like a pair of earrings or yeah. like something meaningful. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like Fun. I, I could remember a couple Christmases of that. But I think getting jewelry from your mother would probably be something special yeah, as a, as a, as a for you know, girl. For sure. But um, like what a good moment. It's not like I do have something else, though. But yeah. um, it's not like the one gift that I was allowed to open from my parents. But um, my cousin Kelsey and I, we always like pranked my uncle growing up in a tradition of ours on Christmas Eve was to go to my Aunt Lorena and Uncle Jimmy's and yeah. um, it was after bass and they would have a little uh, Christmas Eve get together. And we always um, exchanged gifts with my uncle and we made them impossible to open. <laughs> like, yeah, it, I mean, great. just like the word <laughs> like <laughs> wrapped with saran wrap and duct tape and string and like all the things. That's hilarious. And um, I remember the one year it like it was so heavy. I mean, he probably I, I think he had to have help carrying it upstairs. <laughs> That's hilarious. And it was like $20 worth of pennies for both of us. And uh, it, it was great. just like such a fun what memory. What a funny, and, yeah. That's yeah, fun. So. Yeah, that, those are always those are always a good time. I think yeah. I think one of my favorites um, was my brother was allergic to cats and I was allergic to dogs, but I always wanted a pet. So my dad bought me a bird. Um, so the bird was kind of cool gift, right? Um, didn't like it after I got it, though. Birds are just misery they live forever yeah oh they live forever and they are just a pain to like train really oh what, what kind of there's a cockatiel okay yeah which they call it sunshine has, right yeah they're messy yeah. too super messy they're so cute oh no i remember i remember i probably shouldn't say this probably animal abuse but um <laughs> happy holidays i remember it was so hard to like capture the bird after i let it out like i'd be throwing pillows across the living room to try to like smoke it out of the air to then catch it like because it had like the, it could almost take flight so i was always chasing it around never got hurt but granted you know me as being a young like seven year old i didn't know any better i was just trying to get the bird back in the cage yeah. but um that one and then i got paintball guns so paintball guns oh, was a lot of fun yeah. until i for the first time i got shot with one my brother like told me to go out like 35 yards and I, he domed me right in the back of the calf. Oh. I was like, never again, <laughs> never again. I was like in Could shorts. Did those break skin? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It broke skin because sure. like they don't, now if you wear like the proper gear, you're fine. Yeah. But I went out in the t-shirt and shorts and he's like, go out there. I was like, all right. I didn't know like, yeah. man, the pain was excruciating. I, I, I remember the, the, the pain, it was, it was, I thought I was dead. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> worst Christmas ever, but <laughs> I was hyped for the guns themselves. <laughs> worst Christmas ever. Oh my gosh. But, yeah. Uh, you, you don't want to tell the bird story to make him feel a little better. Should we hold that back? The what story? The bird story. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll hold that one back. <laughs> all right. No, but no, I mean, no bird story today. Um, Next time. But I do think as far as uh, giving around Christmas, yeah. um, 
you know, there's so many people who don't have, and, you know, obviously we're very blessed to be able to give. And um, I, I think that's, Hmm. That should be what the holiday is about, is, you know, Amen. giving to people who, you know, might not have yes. um, a Christmas otherwise. So um, as as people are thinking about what to spend and how much to spend, I think it's super important to like keep that in mind. and Give your time. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't don't worry and stress as much about like how much you're going to spend on someone Amen. like, you know, give give what you can. But also think about the people who, you know, so true wouldn't that have anything true meaning all, of christmas so. yeah so yeah um but yeah i, I love Beautiful. that trey's organizing the, the yes. um yeah best of the batch uh that'll be drive, so. that will be a, a fantastic yeah so looking day. forward to i think it's on excited. the so 19th tuesday, right? yeah tuesday 19th so yeah from I'm excited 9 to 11 to get involved with that yeah so. we're all getting involved we're, we're all got, doing it we're all doing it yeah. we have to yeah good it, stuff it, giving, giving is what the holiday season's about and it reminds us you know to to take ourselves out of the selfishness and put us into the selfless acts of service to yeah. really tune into the true spirit and meaning of Christmas and, For sure. you know, the holiday spirit. And it just, it does fill you up. And that's what I mean this year. Yeah. I'm not excited to get gifts. I'm excited to give them. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't have to be things, you know, yeah. and like I said, it's never about the, th it's really never about the thing, yeah. but it's just the act of giving, yeah. you know, that is the true spirit of Christmas. And I'm just grateful that we get to experience that um, in multiple ways, you know, here at, at work, at, yeah. at work and at home and, um, and that's where happiness is built, you know, and that's what this time of year is all about. For sure. I love it. For sure. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks for joining us again today. Yeah. Appreciate dude. it. Thank you for and, letting uh, me be in here. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in for another episode of The Perks and Paving. We'll be back next week. But in the meantime, if we don't see you then, Merry Christmas. Happy Merry holidays. Merry Christmas. Have right. a great week. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>